I'm A.T. Cole. Cinda Cole and I retired to the Pitchfork Ranch in southwest New Mexico in 2004. The ranch has a remnant cienega that we're restoring. Cienega is a Spanish term for marsh, shallow gradient wetland meadow, surface water that slowly migrates through dense sponge-like vegetation. Cienegas are often associated with seeps or springs as the geomorphology forces water to the surface. There are only 155 known cienegas in the entire region of Arizona, New Mexico, Sonora, and Chihuahua. Well over half are permanently dry and those remaining are severely incised with more than 95% of cienega habitat dewatered since European arrival. The remnant cienega pictured here is in the 56 square mile Burl Cienega watershed on the Pitchfork Ranch in southwest New Mexico, making up only about five miles of the 48 mile long Burl Cienega watercourse. Trees drown in healthy cienegas, but most of the cienegas that remain, similar to the two mile portion of the cienega shown here, are incised and infested with succession Goodings willows, trees commonly seen where cienega water returns underground, down channel, and the watercourse becomes riverine riparian or sacatone flats, as seen here in the lower seven miles of the nine mile reach of the waterway on this ranch. Cienegas developed slowly over a period of about 8,000 years after the last ice age, once the rapid ice melt slowed. But in less than 200 years, humans have essentially destroyed what nature assembled over millennia. The causes of cienega losses are similar to those that transformed the southwest into the arid land it is today. The initial damage resulted from introduction of livestock by the Spanish in 1598, mostly sheep that reached more than four and a half million in New Mexico and outnumbered cattle 37 to one by 1865. Next, in the 1820s, beaver, capable of building as many as 20 dams per mile, were completely trapped out. Beaver had helped establish a habitat that was once a series of pools murky wetlands linked by shallow multiple branch channels and reservoirs that help control seasonal flooding. In their absence, the habitat dried out. Arroyos developed, initiating an erosive process that continues to this day. Like the one pictured here, Many cienegas suffered further damage when early settlers recontoured broad cienega canyon flats in a misguided effort to prevent flooding of their agricultural fields. Dikes, ditches, and dams pushed water into fast-moving, concentrated flows that inadvertently created deep, high-walled incisions, draining cienegas already damaged by too many sheep and no beaver. The rise of enormous herds of cattle, totaling nearly two million New Mexican animals by 1890, combined with severe drought of that period, brought about further damage to Cienega habitat. These five causes, sheep, absence of beaver, agricultural recontouring, cattle, and drought, were all amplified by the elimination of fire, occurring on average every 10 years before European arrival that had allowed grasses to outcompete trees. Efforts to increase the recognition of cienegas, restore and preserve them are important. Because of the abundance of plants and animals that evolved in cienegas and are dependent on them, along with the inordinate number of endangered and at-risk species found in arid land water, as well as cienegas' immediate and lasting response to restoration, the arid land cienega is arguably the best restoration investment limited public funding can accomplish.